I, uh, I kind of thought that I'd done this video already. I kind of thought that I'd recorded this particular talk already, and I was looking at my YouTube channel like, oh, I guess I hadn't. So here we are. We're going to talk about Star Wars X-Wing Rogue Squadron. Uh, the title of this video should be something like, How to Make Your Villain Hateable. Although I don't know if I can use those words on YouTube without sinking myself in the algorithm. But that's basically what this is. I, and I swear, we're not going to do a chapter-by-chapter -chapter thing through this book. All right, I thought I made this video like a month ago at this point, and I hadn't. So, here we are. We're on Chapter 3. Curtain Lure, number one. Look at that name. That does not sound like the name of a hero, does it? Lure. Yeah. You know what words like lure? Hold on. Where's my notepad? Here's a notepad. Like, naming is destiny or something like that, right? Like, people say that. And sometimes it's true. Lure. Lure. Typically, who's doing luring? Bad guys. Typical usage. Lure to their doom. Every bad guy. So we'll just call them. Every baddie says that. We will lure them to their doom. Right there. So you can already tell, like, from this dude's name, right away, he's a bad guy. So he's walking, and we learn a lot about this dude as he's walking. He's walking through here, and the corridors of this Star Destroyer, or I'm sorry, the Carrot-class light cruiser that he's on, are not tall. So, he's basically kind of risking bumping his head on bulkheads and stuff as he's walking. So he's a proud son of a gun. He compares himself mentally to Moff Tarkin, who was the villain from the first Star Wars movie. He interacts with uh, another guy who works on the ship, and then he gets to talking to a prisoner. And the prisoner is related to Corrin Horn, who we've been introduced in the first chapter as one of the pilots, one of the protagonists of the book, and he's like Cornhorn's old boss when they worked for the Corellian police. Uh-huh. So now, we're making it personal. Our protagonist has a relation to the villain through a mutual third party that our protagonist... I'm sorry, our protagonist is over here. That our protagonist knows and likes. So it turns out that the good guy here, the one who's the prisoner... Let himself get caught so he could distract Curtain Lure. Now, that almost sounds like Certain Lure, doesn't it? We, we, we could probably break down that first name some more, but we're not going to. And through this whole sequence, he's talking to the prison guard and he's talking to the prisoner. He's arrogant. He's an arrogant son of a gun. Uh, he's like, I will break you, old man. Who said something like, I will break you? Oh, the villain from Rocky IV. I'll break him, you know? And he spends this whole time just being a smug son of a gun. And we also learn some stuff about, like, the Imperial uh, situation here, how the Imperial military is not happy that the intelligence lead of the Empire is running the Empire at this point, stuff like that. So he's got, like, an inferiority complex and a superiority complex at the same time. The old man's head came up slowly. Curtain saw fire still smoldering in the blue eyes. I'll give you nothing. Yes, yes, of course you won't. The intelligence man laughed lightly. You forget. I learned interrogation from a number of very good people, including yourself. I will get information from you. When I do, and you know I will, Corin Horn, Ayala Wasari, and her husband will be mine. It is inevitable. Oh, smug and overconfident, this guy is eminently dislikable. He is right off the bat, here in just a couple of pages, painted as a big, annoying, easily dislikable villain figure. When you're writing like a pulpy kind of story or genre fiction or whatever you want to call it, you can get away with stuff like that and people will buy into it wholeheartedly because I read that and by the time I got done with this chapter, just the way this guy is written... I can't wait to see him go down later in the story. You know what I'm saying? 
Like, I want this guy to lose. I want him to lose hard. I want him to lose more than I want the heroes to win. That's what that one chapter did to me. If you've ever wanted to know how to make somebody dislike a character, just read chapter 3 of X-Wing Rogue Squadron. You will see it firsthand from Michael Stackpole. He absolutely nails it. All right, you all, you beautiful, wonderful people, you take care of yourselves. You have a great day, great night, great whatever you got going on. I hope to see you again next time. Until then, bye-bye.